Hey guys, welcome to Replicode. This is a short video on email and password authentication with Firebase. As you can see, Firebase supports many different types of authentication like Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub. These require a little bit more effort to integrate because you have to set up a new application on each service and work with the APIs. So we'll get started with email and password authentication first. Before we move on to the code, we just have to enable email and password authentication by clicking this checkbox. And we're good to go. So in Xcode, I've created a simple project with Firebase included. If you don't know how to add Firebase to your project, watch my previous video, and I'll leave a link below. Um, here I've set up a very basic login page with two text fields and two buttons, one for email, one for the password, and a sign in and create account button. So let's go to the assistant editor and link these up to the view controller. I'm going to create an email outlet, email field, same thing for the password. and uh, an action for the sign-in. And an action for the create account. Now we're ready to import Firebase and create a reference to our Firebase app. I gotta copy the URL of my Firebase app. So that's this one here. And we're good to go. Let's do account creation first. So we'll call ref and get the function create user. Now the create user takes in an email, a password, and a, a function to run on completion. So let's do for the email, we're gonna take the text of the email field, and same thing for the password, the pass, the text that's in the password field. Now for the completion block, the completion block takes in, receives an error and a result. Now if there's an error, so if error is not, if the error is not empty, then we know there was something wrong. Otherwise, we're ready to move on. Now, the result uh, the result includes a UID in it, which is a, the most important thing, and that's the, the user identifier from Firebase. So every user that is created will have a unique identifier, and it's guaranteed that it's unique uh, across all the users. So we want to, we'll probably want to see what that is. So let UID equals result UID. So again, result is, is an object that will contain uh, various data, and one of them being the user identifier as string. And let's print the UID. Created user UID. So that's good. Let's try this out. So we're going to keep our eye on the output. Email will be Bob. No idea what that is. And password is going to be one, two, three. And I'm going to click create account. And we'll see we got successfully created user with user identifier. And there it is. Now, if we go to our Firebase app, go to login and auth, let me give that a, a refresh. We'll see we've got uh, a new registered user, bob at joe.com, created on a date, and the user identifier. So that's awesome. We can delete this user right from here, and we can reset this user's password from this uh, dashboard. So that's pretty useful too.
Now, we're still not signed into the app. We've just created an account. So let's make the uh, sign-in code now. And it's pretty similar. Ref auth user is going to be our function. Again, it takes in an email and a password and a block that will be run on completion. So the email will again be the email field text and password field text. And it takes in an error and auth data. Same deal, if the error is not nil, then we'll say unable to sign in user. Otherwise, we want to extract the data from the auth data object. So let's say let UID equals auth data UID. That should be good. So we already created an account before. Let's just do bobjoe.com123. Sign in and see what the message is. Login successful with UID. So that's awesome. Now we are actually logged in um, to the Firebase app. So I just want to show a few situations where you might get an error in the authentication stage. The first being if you try and create a user that already exists in the database, you'll get an error, something went wrong, that's good. If we sign in with the wrong password, we'll see unable to sign in user, that's perfect. And if we sign in with an email that doesn't exist in the database at all, so joe at bob.com, that doesn't exist, then unable to sign in user, that's perfect. So Firebase is handling a lot of the authentication logic for us, which makes it really easy for us. Um, but what if we wanted some additional information for the user? So like a user could specify a username that was unique to the email, or maybe a URL to a profile image or something like that. Firebase doesn't really have built-in logic to handle that, so we kind of you know, build it ourselves. So I'll show you guys really quickly how we would do that. I'm going to create a, a username field here. So that would allow a user to sign up with a username. Gonna have to relay that out. Update constraints, add missing constraints. Gonna create an outlet for username field. So I'm gonna create an object called user. Field text. So you notice I have to use the self um, key term here because uh, I'm inside a closure and to access this username field which is in my view controller I have to say self first. So let's do self ref child by pending path. Let's say users. And I want to store this underneath the unique identifier of this user. So I do that. Set value to user. Let's give that a shot. So I'll call this, uh, my username will be replicode, my email will be replicode at gmail.com, let's say, password123, create the account, and successfully created the user, so let's check Firebase and we'll see, hopefully, Awesome, we've created uh, a new entry underneath my user identifier and we've got the username replicode. So yeah, that's really good. That'll be all for now guys. Um, there's lots more in this topic, including things like security. Um, I also really wanna get into Facebook and Twitter authentication. I know you guys are interested in that topic too. Um, 
But yeah, those will come soon. Thanks for watching.